in out of Oceanside, California. Wide on the little shovel pass. Wide. Midfield. Down to the 30-yard line. Finally stopped by Sean Catoose, but he picked up 45 yards. Well, one of the oldest pass plays in football. And, and, and what I like about it, Mike, is the way they set it up. Watch how wide he's going to come to the right and then back underneath, which really moved those linebackers. It created a little separation. The linebackers got lost on the inside. And then you see wide with his speed and open field ability. Better runner in the open field than many people suspect. And that's one of the reasons he is not available tonight. If this game had been a week later, he might have been able to play. They tried to get Vereen on the screen. He didn't have a chance because Stevenson Sylvester, an outstanding linebacker, was right in his grill early. Two touchdowns in 11 seconds. They're up 14 nothing. Big return by Smithson. Shaky Smithson all the way to the 30-yard line, and boy, did they need that. Wynn completes this one inside the 20-yard line to Luke Matthews. Dive. Looks that way. Instead throws underneath, and that's going to be very close to a first down. Set up to go for it. And wide has the first down. Well, I like that play call. That was tight formation this time. Play fake to wide, throw to the end zone, and what's the call? Touchdown. Entire season and his first touchdown grab off the nice play fake. Oh wow, what a great throw. Uh, I'm not sure he has possession. That boy, that left foot was on the line. I don't think that he was. I think this is a touchdown. Watch the right foot. Mm. Thousand yard back this year. Win to the sideline, bobbled and caught at midfield. Jeremy Brooks, gain of 27 yards. Yeah, you know what? A really nice ball thrown to the outside by win and Brooks going up who had 49 catches on the season hey that, that'll loosen up that front four well I'm gonna let you keep saying it Ooh, bringing the woods. Shakareen has the first down to win again with good protection has this complete to David Reed who is inside the 15 yard line Vereen, there's Sylvester, a very active linebacker. And now they face another third and long. Three-man rush. Riley dumps it underneath. And Sylvester is right there again as Shane Vereen takes the little check down. A, a nice young man job at best. We certainly hope he recovers completely. This is Reed. And Reed with plenty of yardage for a first down. That's one of those automatic qualifiers. That's one of the big controversies in college football. Win again under pressure. And we'll get this one complete. And once again, it's David Reed. Blitz coming. Win hangs in there over the middle. Touchdown. It's the tight end, Moriai, the tight end with his second touchdown of the year, both in this game, and what a throw by Jordan Wynn. Oh, man, I'm telling you, this youngster has really thrown two great touch passes to Moriai, the tight end, and, and the defender there, but That's he doesn't have his eyes around. Vereen, the tailback, delay, and he's just swallowed up in the backfield. He never had a chance. Koa Misi. Little run blitz. Watch, watch the two coming in there, getting to the line of scrimmage, crowding it, overmanning, overpowering quarterback rather than somebody who was going to lead you the entire way. He needs to be better than that tonight. And Varan Tucker was just crushed by Robert Johnson and couldn't hold on to that pass. The defender leading with his shoulder, not his head. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, it's not using that helmet to lead with because we've seen a lot of plays this year, like from 
Taylor Mays at USC, that it's a borderline. Right? You'll be back here when it's warm. Nope. <laughs> Win, little shovel pass to wide. Gaping hole for Eddie Wide. Tripped up as he got to the 30-yard line. Saving tackle by Sean Katoos. First down at the 21. 47 seconds to go in the half. Win trying to put more points on the board. Cal rushing three and wide open. Touchdown to Jeremy Brooks. He ran a post and there was nobody home. Got the pass protection. Sean Katoos to safety number 11. Has to stay on the inside of that. Nobody to help him. You're dropping eight again. I'm just telling you. Where they just look disinterested. And once again, a tremendous collision. Same guy calling that pattern. <laughs> or he's going to figure out, I'm going to get hit. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to it. But Robert oh. Johnson saying, not in my house. You're not coming in here in this territory. Robert Johnson, 12 career interception. And with 13 seconds left. Another blitz. And this time they got there. Silver Selinga. You got the Big Ten with their conversations here in the last month that's saying they're going to expand, which is putting pressure on the Pac-10 and other conferences to make sure they defend and grow if they need to. Yeah. Wind goes out in the flat to Brooks. And Brooks, a couple of yards shy of a first down. And to speak of, Shaky Smithson in. He takes the direct snap and hands off to any possessions. Now it's third and ten. Pressure coming. Loose ball. Utah football recovered by Mike Wright, the middle linebacker. It was knocked away by Lamar Chapman. Mike, what's the cost? What's the price of dropping a pass, of not making a completion? It's the next play. It's a turnover. You're right. It could be the ball game. You never know which play. Win. Quick out to Reed. Sidestep to tackle. Midfield. 40. 30. 20 and pushed out of bounds. Nice job by David Reed. Good execution. It's a missed tackle in open space. You've got to win the open space. Mountain West didn't look too bad against the Pac-10 in that open space battle, did they? No, they didn't. And with five wide receivers, they bring Reed into the backfield. Flanker screen, pitch and catch Reed. Had his helmet knocked off, but hung on to the ball. Counting 9.49 and counting. Riley pressured out of the pocket. They got him at the 49-yard line. You're, you're, you know you wanted to get to at least fourth and short where you could have gone for it for Jeff Tedford, right? I was inspired yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> boy, look out from behind. <sighs> Second sack. And, and that's just a blown blocking assignment. Oh. You know, that's Cal, again, their offensive line that really... Over the middle, tipped and intercepted. Sylvester to the goal line, touchdown. Robert Johnson may have been the guy who caused it. Is a leader back in that secondary. He has 12 career interceptions. He gives his buddy a chance to have one here. And Stevenson, Sylvester, I mean, it, you know, being around the football, did you see how Johnson attacked? Now Cal is going to need something of a miracle. Long pass. Johnson intercepted it. He's not having a bad ball game at all. <laughs> I guess he's he got a Baker's dozen. 13. And I never understood that either. Baker's dozen. But anyway, it's... Yeah, great focus on the ball. He just plays the game. He knows the game. The instincts of it. Thought they would compete and play a lot better than they did. Well, don't you think the Pac-10 this year was as good as it's been yeah. in the last 15 years? Yeah. As a conference. You know, and, 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 you know, like Arizona, Mike Stoops, they did a heck of a job this year. And they're going to be out here in the Holiday Bowl next week. So, yeah, it's a good conference, no doubt. Final score, Utah 37. California 27. Coming up next.